Hey, what's up everyone? Dave here with another exciting tutorial and today I'm gonna blow your mind with the coolest add-on for Blender that I've ever seen. Okay, so let's just jump right to it. What I'm talking about is Polyhaven. Okay, I'll leave a link for this below, polyhaven.com. And if I scroll down, they have lighting, textures, and models. You can download all of them for absolutely free. I, incredible detail. If I click on browse models, you can see that you can kind of scan through this stuff. If you find something you like, you can click on it, preview it down here, and choose the resolution, the format, and then just hit download, okay? I'll show how to do that in a second, but what I wanna show right away is this add-on, okay? The add-on, what's cool about this add-on is that you can download their entire library um, kind of automatically, and then it's incorporated into Blender, and you can just kind of drag and drop whatever you need, okay? Now, <laughs> the add-on is actually a one-time $30 thing. That's probably the best $30 I've ever spent in my life. This is insane because um, I'm going to show you how cool that is. Then I'll show you how to do it for absolutely free if you just want to do it one at a time. But let's go ahead and kind of dive in here. So here I'm in Blender. I'm just going to drag this up down here and I'm going to switch this to file browser or I'm sorry, asset browser. In the asset browser, I'm going to switch this to Polyhaven. Okay. Now you can see that I have all of it already loaded in. Here's the HDRIs, here's the model, and here are the textures. So if I wanna see what this is, if I, um, let's say if I wanted to, I'll just take this cube here, for example, go to textures, and I can put any one of these on it. Maybe I'll take this cobblestone floor, and I'll just go ahead and drag and drop. And I need to be in material mode. And you can see here it is. And um, now, if I go here, I can actually change the resolution of it. So if it's not, to my liking, I can go here and I can say, yeah, I want an 8K. And it's gonna download, and it's gonna actually make it a higher resolution model, okay? I'm going to um, stop, that looks like it's taking a little bit of time to download. Uh, let me just drop another one on here, I'll just drop this on. Okay, I'll, I'll be happy with a 1K version. Um, let's say if I like that. Now, what I can do, if I go to shading here, I can see here's my material. Uh, I can see all this has been set up for us automatically. Uh, I can also tile it right here. So I could, set, I could select this and do five and five, and now I can see I can change the tiling of it. I could also, in here, not only can I change the size of it, but if I open this up, I can say, I wanna set up displacement. So I, if I click on that and click okay, now it actually has displacement um, on the side. So the bricks will be kind of sticking out at render time. I'm gonna switch this to render mode. Um, Again, super cool stuff here, and that's just the materials, okay? So let's take a look at other things here. So if I uh, if I go back here to the Asset Browser, um, I can also change the lighting. So if I come in here, Polyhaven, um, HDRIs, this is the lighting scenario. So if I click on this, you can see that Blender gives us pre-built lighting scenarios here, and you can see how drastically it changes what that looks like depending on essentially a sphere around the object that's responsible for lighting it. If I go to this, what's lighting it now is this default light in the scene. So if I delete that light, there's nothing lighting this object. If I drag one of these on, let's say I drag this one, this image surrounding it is what's lighting up our cube right now, okay? And if I go over here, I can see that if I wanted this higher resolution, I can switch this to let's say 4K. And again, I'll click on that and then it would download and eventually there it is. Now it's a high resolution 4K image that's lighting it. And if I wanted to alter this, this is already set up for us. So if I go to shader editor, switch this to world, it automatically plugged in the thing, uh, this in, um, image and I can rotate it. You can see how rotation is gonna affect the lighting. I can also change the strength. In other words, how bright it is. I can change the warmth of it and also the tint of it. All again, again, that's all set up for us automatically, okay? I can also drag in models, okay? So if I go to back to my asset browser, I go to models, all of these models are just ready to go. I can just drop in a bullhead here and I can see how much detail that has, really cool. Uh, the lighting is affecting this, all of that. Again, just like anything else, if I'm on the material, I can select this. I can set this to be as high as resolution as I want. Um, I can 
um, do whatever I need to do. Okay, so again, super cool, right? I can just drag and drop, put a whole scene together. In fact, if you wanna see what a whole scene looks like together, they have assets, if I go to collections here, they put together um, these scenes here. I mean, this is insane. If we look at this, how much detail this is. So it's kind of like drag and drop rocks, drag and drop plants, drag and drop flowers. And it shows you all of the assets that they used to create this scene. You can actually download the scene for absolutely free. I mean, just this is absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Um, now, one thing I should mention, if you do try to open this in Blender, you're going to need a super powerful computer because, um, you know, it could max out your machine pretty quickly because it's really super complex stuff here. Okay. Now, uh, what if you don't want to download the, uh, the add-on, okay? And I should mention, if you do want to get the add-on, I'm just going to show you how to do it first, okay? So if you wanted to do it, I'm just going to go file new, okay? Let's say if you wanted to have that, what you would do is you would first go to a place where you want to download everything, okay? And what do I mean? So... I just created a folder called Blender, and if I open that up, I created a folder by right-clicking New Folder, and I named it Poly Space Haven, and it has to be spelled exactly like that. And you can see that it has 10.8 gigs of stuff in there. And if I had to download them one at a time, that would take forever, okay? So by making that folder, what you can do is then go to Edit, Preferences, then in here, just go down to File Paths, and then hit the plus sign here, and go find where you create that folder, okay? So if I look here, here it is, and then it hit add asset library. Now it would have this and it knows, hey, that's where your Polyhaven library exists. What that's going to be is where all the files are stored because they're gonna be transferring from their website literally to your computer. So you're gonna to need to have that storage available to hold all those files. Now, what you would do is you would go to um, the asset browser in Blender. And then in the asset browser, this is what it would look like by default. You would just switch this to Polyhaven because now you told it, hey, I have one called Polyhaven. And then Polyhaven is set up where you can just click on this fetch assets. And then what it does is automatically starts downloading everything in their library to your computer. Okay. And that's going to take some time. It could take maybe several hours. So just kind of plan on that. And once it's uh, all done, then at any time you can click fetch assets again. And if they did any updates, it'll just add them. Okay. If you stop it halfway in between, no big deal. You can just hit fetch assets and it's going to con continue whenever um, you want to continue. So, but again, that's only if you paid 30 bucks. I think, again, totally worth it. Ridiculous is super easy. But let's say if you didn't want to pay $30, you don't want to have them all stored on your computer. Well, now what? Well, let's take a look at how you would do it just one at a time for free, okay? So what you could do, at Polyhaven, come down here, I go to HDRI, and I could find one, and whatever you want, okay, I could click on this one, for example, or let's say this one, and now I could, you can see it gives me a preview of what it looks like. I could go here, choose the size that I want, choose the format that I want, and then just hit download, okay? And then, I'm going to go back here. If I want to do a texture, just click browse texture, find whatever I want. Let's say rock wall. I can preview it here. I can kind of look at what it looks like. If I go to 3D, this is the displacement that I was talking about. You can see how it's sticking out and kind of disrupts the silhouette to make it look three-dimensional. It's automatically set up for us on the add-on. Um, the other ones, you can do it, but you kind of have to do some manual work to get it to work. Um, so I just choose the size that I want, choose the format that I want, I'll leave it at Blender, and then again, click on download. And then I'm going to go to models, okay? Now, models, I can find whatever I want. Let's say I want this chair. Again, choose the size that I want, choose the format that I want, and then click download, okay? Once you have those downloaded, okay, go to downloads, here they are, okay? I've got my sunny country road, um, the rock wall and the mid-century chair, I can see that these are zipped, so I'm going to have to extract them. Okay, and then I'll extract this one as well. Okay, cool. 
Now, what do those extract files contain? Well, if I look at this, I can see it has textures and a blender file. Same with uh, this one, the mid-century chair. It has a blender file and a texture. So what now? Well, what I could do is I could just go file open and I could go to my mid-century chair and just open it. Okay, boom, there it is. It's got all the textures on, okay. It's kind of hard to see without lighting. There it is, it's ready to go, okay. But let's say if I want to add it to the scene, okay. Let's say if I had a scene and um, I wanted to add it. Well, I would do this, I would go file, append, and now I would choose, um, let's see. I would go like this, downloads, mid-century chair, and I would say, I want to append this blender file. And now, hold on here, let me just go like this. So let's say if I wanted to append it, I'm gonna go like this, append, mid-century chair. Append, it's gonna ask me, hey, what do I wanna append? I'm gonna to go to collection, and I'm gonna just choose this and say append, okay? Now, I'm just gonna delete this. I can see that it added it to my scene here. Okay, great, that's cool. Um, now, let me show you how to append the texture. So if I go like this, plain. Okay, let's say if I wanted to add the texture to this, I would go like this, file, append, and now I'm gonna choose the other one, rock wall. And if I go to rock wall, I'll hit append, and now I'm gonna choose material, choose the rock wall, and hit append. And you might be like, well, David, it didn't work. Okay, well, we didn't add it to anything yet. We just appended it to the scene. In other words, we added it to the scene. So I can select this. Now I can go here. And now it should be in the list of our materials. And here it is, rock wall. Boom, I can click on that and you can see that it works. Okay, um, so that's pretty cool that you know it, it does all that. Uh, the last thing I wanna show is the lighting. So for the lighting, um, maybe I'll go to shading. I'll switch this to world. And now if I wanna put this on, I can go like this. Again, this is the default blender lighting. So if I switch to this, um, this is without any images. I can see here's the default light. Now it has no lighting. Now what I could do is I could go to the downloads and I didn't need to extract this one because it's just a single image. I can just drag and drop it in here and I can see a preview over here, what it is if I have it selected. And if I have this selected, I can see, oh, that's, that's what I have. Um, I could plug it in there, but that's not really what I want to do. Um, so I'm going to actually get rid of this node here and I'm going to add, um, a, a background. Uh, no, no, that's what I just had. <laughs> I'm going to add, uh, an environment texture. Okay. And now I can say on environment texture, I can open up. Let's see. Here it is, open it, and now I could plug this in, and now it's actually doing what it's supposed to be doing, okay? Now, let's say if I wanted to, uh, again, upgrade the resolution of this, I can't really upgrade the resolution of it, because remember, what I need to do is I need to determine that first, right here when I'm downloading it, so I'd have to determine the resolution first before I download it. Same with the, um, the lighting one, same with the texture one, um, and then also, if I wanted to uh, do the displacement on this, uh, if I come here, there's no kind of auto displacement. Uh, so I'd have to go in here and I'd probably have to fiddle around, maybe do like a subdivision modifier on this, tell it to be simple and just kind of do this. And it, so it can work. Uh, you can see it feels like those rocks are now sticking up a little, a little bit more. Um, so you have to kind of fiddle with it a little bit more. Um, but again, all these are free if you want to do that one at a time. I just said, hey, 30 bucks, super fast. Everything is done for me. Uh, and even the world, okay, like this, uh, this, um, this, you can see it's not set up. I can't rotate it. I can't change the temperature and the colors. So I feel like they kind of set up it automatically for us. So let me think in the comments below. Do you think this is cool? Do you think this, uh, do you think you'd have a use for this? Um, again, I'm just, in awe that Polyhaven is just giving this all for free. And even not just all those assets for free, Polyhaven's intent is actually to make this add-on free for everybody, 
Okay, so currently the add-on is $30, which again, one-time fee seems super reasonable, I think. However, if they have enough people supporting them at $5 a month, um, and if they get enough patrons, okay, at 5,000, uh, they're actually gonna release this for free for everyone, whether or not you subscribed, okay? And they, that's how they keep funding their, their stuff. So again, I feel like a really cool company um, if you're able to support them in any way, I totally recommend it. I've got no connections to Polyhaven. I just think that they're doing really cool stuff. So let me know in the comments below what you think and if this looks like something you might use. Um, again, feel free to try it. You don't even have to sign up. You don't even have to log in. You can just start downloading this stuff for free, okay? And if you really wanna support them, go ahead and get the add-on or again, feel free to support them this way. All right, talk to you later.